What is up guys, it's your boy Jam, and I'm back again for another video, and assuming you got to this point, you don't care about spoilers, we're gonna talk about Legends Arceus, because the entire game supposedly got leaked. And I'm on Central Leaks right now, I'm gonna assume they're pretty accurate and stuff, um... Like, I, I, once the game is leaked, I don't know how you can lie about things, so... Um, we're gonna we're gonna go through them, and I'm gonna assume all this is pretty true, and I'm gonna discuss my thoughts on a lot. So I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Um, a lot of their things won't load for me anyway. Like a lot of the photos won't load for me for some reason. Um, things don't like to work when I need them to work. So, um, luckily, someone posted in the comments all the pictures of the forms, and I want to talk about some of these forms <sighs> right off the bat. Right off the bat, I want to talk about the forms because. Some of them are okay? Like, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say, like, right off the bat we knew some of these existed. And... Um... I don't even know what some of these mons are. Is this the sea bear from Spongebob? Is that the sea bear from Spongebob? Like, am I, am I getting correct on that? Um, some of these are okay. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in and kind of just go over each real quickly. Um, let's see if my mouse will... Okay. So, um, we already knew about Voltorb. Voltorb, I, I thought it was kind of cool from the start. Um, Electrode, eh, it's okay. Um, the Arcanine's kind of cool. I like the Arcanine the Samurai. I've, I've liked the, um, issue in, uh, Zoran's Arc. I like those already. But it's like, for every one good, there's two or three bads. Like, Scyther, I never really liked the Scyther one. The Scyther one I thought was weird. Um, is this Sneasel? Is, you got is this Etherian? Are these, like, I know, <laughs> that's gotta be... Is that, like, Landorus, Tornadus, and Thunderous? Is this freaking Quillfish? Like, I can't even tell who these are. I'm hoping this is not Decidueye. Because even Typhlosion's got an okay form. Samurai, I like Samurai. Samurai is pretty cool. Okay, that's Sneasel. That's a Sneasel form. So, is this Weavile? I'm so confused. Or is this one of the Therian forms? I, I don't know which ones these are. I can't even tell. Um, they look horrible. Braybeard, I thought was already cool. Gudra, just what the heck? You, you gave it a bigger tail. Um. I'm hoping this is fake. <laughs> That's a horrible Decidueye. That's Decidueye. That's awful. Um, and don't even get me started on freaking Volkia. Who <laughs> designed that? What the hell? Um, Dialga. Dialga, I thought I laughed at it first, but now I look back at it, it's not horrible. Um, Sneasel's kind of cool. Okay, that's not cool, Fish. So what is that? I don't even know, is that Ursaring? Like, I still think that's a sea bear. Um, Avalug, I... Some of these... These are weird categories. Some of them are super cool, some of them are awful, and some of them aren't bad, but they didn't need to exist. Like... Gudra, I'm not gonna say it's bad, because it looks very closely original, but that brings up the question, why does it exist? Um... There's another one. Avalug, it doesn't look horrible, but it's not cool. Why does it... Why does it... It's not like... It just didn't need to exist. Lilligant, that's just a Gardevoir, and you know what I mean by that. Like, you, don't look it up and go on Google Images. Um, <sighs> some of these are cool, but the bad ones just totally like, this This is horrible, I hate that, I hate Landers in this. Um, I like this just because it's a sea bear, but... Um, Stantler, I liked Stantler from the start, that's super cool, I, I love that one. But some of these forms are just so meh to me. They're so meh, and, like, Basculin, fine, I guess, it's okay, I, this is the evolution, right? Um, okay, so I just realized, this is probably a Quillfish evolution, this is probably a Sneasel evolution, I forgot, I didn't think about the concept of evolutions, but, like, they're so weird, which, I want to say, I partially understand some of the forms. This is supposed to be an older time game, meaning some of the forms... I guess they want to look more ancient. This, I guess, kind of fits, it gives me an old time vibe, but it just doesn't look amazing. Like, these give me an old time vibe and they look incredible. I get an older time vibe from Zora and Zorark, they look incredible. 
Palkia, this is this is weird. Um, I just don't like these forms. Like, I get what they were going with for some of them. Like, this reminds me of a prehistoric mob. Like, it's cool for that reason. But, and, and I will just say, I have never, I think, I've, this is my general opinion. I've always thought form, the form idea was cool, but it didn't make sense to me how some of them were made. Like, let's just take Zord Zord, for example. It makes sense why their form exists. They have a story, a lore behind them. Going back to Sun and Moon, I never understood the concept of Sandshrew, or not really Sandshrew, of Vulpix Alolan form. It was already a fire type. It's in Alola, but it's an ice type. And I'm sure there's some lore behind that. That's not really my thing. Um, I don't know if there is some reason behind that. They live up in the mountains, I guess. But why do they? Why are they even there in the first place? But th that's getting into an episode. I'm sure someone can correct me on that. And if they can, I would love to because I think the forms are cool. I love a little nine tails. I don't understand it. This, I get some of these, and I like how they're really putting old time ancient into consideration of some of these. But I feel like it could have been better. And like I said, some of these are really cool. I love Samura. Dialka kind of looks cool to me. Um, interesting. But then that brings up another random question. We've known about Dialga and Palkia being ancient. So why do they have a, a new form from a hundred years ago? And why are they back to normal now? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily make sense to me. And I'm hoping Arceus gets to know new form, which I'm pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure someone actually brought that up and said that didn't. I'm gonna go over some of the ones under- basically I want to read up all this post after that, but yeah, he has some of the shinies as well. Um, sadly I can't load it, but I guess I'll look at them later. Um, Arceus doesn't get a new form, so thank goodness Arceus doesn't get a new form. Yeah, I can't load some of these for some reason, and it saddens me because I would love to see them, but um, luckily a lot of what I'm looking at after the pictures isn't really um, like, see, the stuff like this I want to talk about. So we already know about the Force of Nature. We've seen their forms. They're kind of weird. I'm... Yes, there's a form. Then we have this. Um, he talks about the deck. So, 240 Pokemon in total. And... Um, Arceus is 240. And Darkrai and Shaman are post-game, so 241 and 244, two, respectively. So, there's going to be 242 Pokemon in the decks. That honestly feels a little low for this game. I'm going to be straight up honest. I feel like there should be more. Just me, though. Um, turbo attacks. I need to apply your taxes. Um, by the way, in battle, Typhlosion has flames. And apparently looks way cool. The render doesn't make it justice. I haven't seen the flames, but I am glad Typhlosion has flames again. That's really cool. That was always something that kind of sucked in... Um, generation 6 and 7, it's lost its flames, and I don't remember if they went back in the battle, but either way, it just pixelated, it looked incredible. Yeah, Arceus doesn't get a new form, which like I said, I'm really happy about. Like, as cool as it could be, makes no sense. Um, History Wind Starters, we've already seen some of them, I think, in the past. So here we go, um, some people ask him really random questions. Um, I think of the past already in home, his GTS pack. So, um, I think this game has trading, our player battles in the game, can you buy your friends or just trade? So you can only trade in the game. Um, kind of expected. I don't know how you would exactly form a battle situation out of here, but it is cool you can trade. I mean, yeah, that's, I didn't know if there would be anything online, there's some crypto crap. Um, all Pokeballs, I, stuff like this I really want to load. And I wonder if someone in the comments, like, because I haven't seen the Pokeballs yet. I would love to. But Argus, okay. I wonder if any new ones will function like a Master Ball. Yeah, Master Ball. If you obviously Pokemon is not consistent with lore and story, but um, if we're going by simple logic, the Master Ball was made in Sylph Co. and it was a prototype even then, so it makes sense there wouldn't be any in this game. I'd be kind of happy if they didn't have one. See, I can't load anything, which sucks. Um, so I guess I won't see the Pokeballs. I think I saw a picture of them once. Oh. Okay, so they're deleting pictures. That's why, yeah. Okay, so that explains it. I, okay. 
game obtained, data mine started. So this is where we're about to get into a lot of stuff. There is a ton of uh, tweets. Like I said, I don't know how long today is going to be, but I want to go over stuff and just kind of... Um, so Pokeball stuff, not that important to me. So yeah, the pictures are gone. I'm glad to know my thing isn't messing up. Here's something. You can battle multiple Pokemon at a time. Um, I don't know if I want to actually, like, go over the videos, so I might actually cover some of them. Arceus has a new Legends play. Okay. It's interesting how different the leak season has been. Early leaks were really negative, while appeals were mostly positive. Surprises, which... Like I said, I have very mixed opinions. Like I said, um, the I feel like for every one good thing I can say about some of the starter or the uh, forms or something bad, and I just feel like the forms are kind of gross. It's all my opinion, obviously. If you love the forms, go you. If you like Tissue and Decidueye, go you. It's not for me. Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball. So here's some of the balls. So... This is interesting to me, because if you'll notice, the only Pokeball, Curveball, in here is the Heavy Ball. That's a detail I like. Now the reason I like that is because this game is definitely making sense. That obviously you're not going to have a bunch of Curve Balls, like you're not going to have a Love Ball, a Moon Ball, a Love Ball, you're not going to have that stuff. But Heavy Ball kind of makes sense. A lot, I, I just feel like... It's an old style thing that I love. Uh, the heavy ball, it just sounds right, especially when you're dealing with stuff like Arceus, Dialgopalkia, lore. This game is all about history and lore. Beautiful that it has the heavy ball. I love that. That's actually super cool. I'm glad they kept that. That just that, That's a nice thing about it. I like some of these other balls, the wing ball, jet ball. These just feel like old to me. A wing ball, but I like that. Um, what's this? Um, new items related to Arceus, Togo, Origin Lore, Adamant Crystal. Okay, so they changed up the, the um, item sack. That's kind of cool. Um, it's already on the tweet. Um, start evolving. I don't want to mess with this. I'm not going to watch too many videos. Photos were alright. Um, Dialga Palkia are new forms called the Lord Forms. So can I get some lore behind those Lord Forms? Uh, I'm definitely going to read into that because they sound super iffy to me. Um... 25 new moves. That, that is a high amount. Let's see. Dire Claw, Sebastian, Power Shift. Like, some of these names, too. Some of these names just feel old, like Mountain Gale, um, Stone Axe. Um, yeah, I like this. They're definitely they're getting very um, accurate, I feel like. And I like that about this game. Like, for an old time Pokemon board game, this feels right. Uh, as Pokemon have no abilities, there isn't any new ability. That's interesting. All Pokemon have no abilities, which we, we saw that in. Um, Let's go Pikachu and Eevee, I think, so. Makes sense. A lot of turbo attacks, I don't care about that. Um, threat of new moves, tire club, use a lash on target. Aiming to land a critical hit, it could lose. Hmm. Target, this may also turbo. Frostbite. So now they have Frostbite, which. That's interesting. Is that like a change for Frozen Triple Arrow? So they have a lot of. You can read, I'm not going to read about every attack here um, and give my thoughts on them. Um, attacks are attacks. But you guys can pause if you want to and read some of these. I'm going to um, share uh, this guy's Twitter in the description so you guys can look at it. Here we go. Um, more attacks. New status condition. Here we go. The Dendy Region Pokemon's Hurt Bites Frost by any damage it deals with special moves will also be reduced. Okay, wait, hold on. At the end of each turn, Pokemon is hurt about Frostbite, so it just hurts you. It's like a sandstorm almost effect with a status condition or a poison. Any damage, it deals with special moves. The so special moves are reduced. I feel like physical moves would make more sense because, you know, if I my hand gets Frostbite, I'm not I'm not punching, right? Like, I still like that. Um, here we go. Pokemon are more likely to get new weather snow, like the Frostbite and Dredge Pokemon more likely to fail to act. The speed of ice Pokemon speed. Okay, that's cool. No Pokemon battles. I don't know what noble battles are. He said he, he said he doesn't want to spoil that. So Giratina's in the game. Giratina battle theme. There you go. Cool. Dialga Palkia battle theme. So he has the battle themes. Reduce move will deal increased damage. All fixing any damage. Pokemon will also increase. More new status conditions. Pokemon is concealed in mud or like raising the chance Pokemon will bait opponents move. When is it off today? Oh, primed. Ooh. So a status condition that helps you. Okay. That's cool. Drowsy. 
Okay, drowsy, it's like confusion, but it doesn't hurt you. Or thunder wave, I guess. It's now a field effect for multiple moves called Jag. This one just moves cause a field effect the Pokemon is hurt by Jag. So it's like the end of each turn. Makes sense. Um, terrific Might. Pokemon takes reduced damage from status condition and moves to display sprinters. Terrible Might. All Pokemon stats are boosted to slow, so reduces damage. Okay. So, interesting stuff. A lot of status conditions. This game is definitely going to get really technical with that. Makes it yeah, kind of good for competitive since there's no online battles. Even more weather effects, strong sun. Um. Okay, so fog. Fog's in the game. <laughs> Ironic. Oh, here's something. Here's some drama. Here's some drama. Funny that after complaints was your page, you seem to credit everything. Now you copy without crediting. <laughs> Let's click this. Uh, just for fun. It's just for fun. Just for fun. Let it burn. Fun drama, I guess. Um, not today, so today, so I'm sure that's not really a leak. It's more like an apology. Final PLA mission. Seek out all the Pokemon there are to meet, then play your flute upon the dais in the Temple of Sinnoh. Sinnoh. So Sinnoh is a canon name in the game. Interesting. The story missions. I'm not gonna go through all 2021. Um, what are the shiny odds and mechanics? Any hints? Or not? So yeah, shiny odds are a weird thing when it comes to leaks. We don't usually actually know them uh, for a good while. I mean, if you guys remember with um, Sword and Shield, it took a long time to actually learn about the shiny odds from the um, encounter um, method, and we ended up getting it wrong even then. So yeah, shiny odds probably won't be out for a while. So do obviously keep that in mind. Um, Legends play. Here's a legend play. A stone tablet introduces the essence of all creation when used on a certain Pokemon. Allows a person to gain the power of every type it is. Makes sense for Arceus. Um, there's actually been a lot of discussions about a Mon with the power of every type, and if it'd be weak to rock. So there's your disadvantage. I think that's what is gonna suck Arceus in there. So it's not like, you know, blank play. Is this just for Arceus? I don't know. Adamant Crystal. Okay, so, okay, this makes a little more sense. The orbs, it needs the orb to change forms, and, okay. Makes a little more sense, I'm happy about that. Um, new staff system, each has... Okay, so this new staff system... Actually, I actually want to talk about this. New stat system, each stat has an effort level, so kind of like an EV, or an IV, I don't know which one that's meant to be. Go from 1 to 10, you can use raises value that required changes depending on the current value. I mean, effort value, effort level, I'm going to assume those are EVs then. I could be wrong. Secret mission, standard mess, like instantly healthy to produce. Is Arceus shiny lock? Nobody knows. So here's the thing about shiny locks. Once again, correct me if I'm wrong. But from what I heard, the reason, and this is this is from the creators, the reason they say they do shiny locks is because they feel like shiny hunting takes away from the bigger purpose of Box Legends. And they said what that meant was encountering the Box Legend was supposed to be like an award, a trophy. It was meant to be a feeling on its own, and hunting for it, a hunt, getting thousands of encounters just takes it away. I think they came out and said that. So I feel like Arceus would probably be shiny locked in this case, since it is the box legend, technically. And it just makes sense they would. I'm going to predict it is going to be shiny locked. Um, some new consumables. Uh, I won't go over everything exactly. I was already suspect then. Okay, so cool to know. Galar already existed. Makes sense. Um, 
I like how they have that, which is eaten in regions such as Gary Beloved by his friend number Pokemon. Hold up. I just saw H and Alola. All the person I've been waiting for, Mike Kelly or Warren Drops, I'm come back. Do you think you can help me find them? I call me. Okay, so uh, this game is not only taking lore into Sinnoh, but it's creating all these items and like history of other games. Like, all oh, the person my Q went off to play. This is interesting. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so it's just called different names back then. So they had different names. Different regions had different names for a month. So in Sinnoh, it's called Volpe Volpix. In Alola. They're called Kyo Kyo. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. Um, all characters in the game reference all regions except Unova. So Unova's not mentioned in the game. Kind of funny. They're avoiding the whole history about the uh, gym leader, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they probably avoid that for a reason. Okay, so here's the form type. So this is the top. This is top, so we're about done. Um, just enjoy grass fighting, samurai, uh, Tablet Jim's Fire Ghost, Samurai's Fire Dark. Okay, we could have already assumed that. Sneasel's poison fighting, interesting. Lily Gant is grass fighting. So I'm sure there's more leaks. Um, I could have scrolled way farther down. But. I didn't want to like go crazy on this video. I just wanted to get my thoughts and something like you can like you can scroll, you can scroll really far and you'll probably find more leaks. Which again, if you guys want to do that, um, I will link central leaks in the description. But you know, there's just a lot, and I don't know how far down this goes. Like I'm pretty sure this is where yeah. So we can go down and we can discover other things. But I don't know how much he actually gets into. Like a lot of it's pictures that he took down. So, um, that's gonna be all for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to subscribe. Um, check my links in the description. Once again, if you want to see this guy and go through all the links yourself, go ahead. Um, I have my Discord down there. Um, my Twitter, which I I probably won't post on too much. I, nobody's on my Twitter anyway. But um, Discord especially, check that out. And your boy Jim is sending out. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome content and stay awesome, everyone. And Hopefully you didn't care about leaks and you didn't watch to the end.